quiet so far, but about to change. So we'll probably get our rain coming up tomorrow, but nothing like that. Right. But nevertheless, it could be some heavy downpours in some of that rain. So good afternoon, Brianna and everybody. Let's see what's going on this afternoon as we check it out. It looking really nice in Boston. It feels nice. Some high cloudness beginning to show up in the sky. So you know that things are probably about to change, but not in the immediate future. In other words, not this afternoon. So we're looking okay. Let's take a look, though, at the tropics. And we're looking at Tropical Storm Dorian down here, not far from St. Lucia at the present time. This is an enhanced infrared shot showing it. It's organized. It's not a powerful storm. It has winds of 50 miles per hour. And it's moving in its general direction off the west-northwest. So we have the Tropical Storm Watch or Tropical Storm Mornings up in many of the islands down there, extending across Puerto Rico into the Dominican Republic. The projected track by the National Hurricane Center, at least the current projected track, takes it on a path like this. And if it stays east of most of the Dominican Republic, it will maintain its strength and even start to strengthen a little bit more as it heads towards Florida. This is so far out, we're talking Sunday. A lot can happen to these tracks. So we'll be watching it very closely the next few days. Also, Tropical Depression 6 out in the Atlantic. Here's Bermuda out in here. It's about 385 miles west, west, southwest of Bermuda. That's slated to perhaps become a minimal tropical storm. It would be called Aaron. We'll be watching that one, but it looks like the center should be passing offshore. However, some of the tropical moisture associated with that in conjunction with an approaching front may cause a lot of rain to be wrung out here at some point tomorrow. Some showers may develop during the day. It may get heavier in the afternoon and evening. Some of that rain may be locally heavy as Aaron goes by well out to sea, but it's going to continue to give us problems here. We're looking at temperatures now, which are mainly in the 50s. I should say dew points in the 50s, but the air temperatures in the mid and upper 50s. And we're looking at much higher dew points to the south. So the higher humidity is on its way in. This will be the trend. By later tomorrow afternoon, we're going to have high humidity again, lasting right into the first part of Thursday morning, and then drier air takes over after that. Here's what's coming. We got the clouds, which we're going to be thickening up uh, during today. And then we're going to see more showers and perhaps even some scattered thunderstorms in the picture during tomorrow as this all lifts off to the northeast. How much rain can we get out of this? At this point, it looks like we could be in the, tour, in the amount of about one to two inches of rain, possibly a few places getting more than two inches out of that sometime during tomorrow and tomorrow night, and then it'll be all over with first thing Thursday morning. So lowest in the upper 50s and lower 60s. High temperatures tomorrow should be mainly in the 70s, a few lower 80s possible inland if that rain holds off till later in the day. By the way, beach and boating, there's a high rip, uh, risk, rip current risk for today and tomorrow. The waves are up around six feet or more. So that's a danger of rip currents. We'll be watching for that closely. And then we're watching for uh, the temperatures going this way for the next few days, mostly in the low 80s or upper 70s tomorrow with that rain coming on in. Once it ends early Thursday morning, Brianna, it looks really good Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday. It may turn wet after that for Labor Day. Not sure about that quite yet, Brianna.